Welcome back to World of Warcraft Classic Blind. Let's see if we sold anything. Everything was successful. Honestly, pretty surprised. We sold Thunderwood for nine gold. Wow. Wow. We got most of that. Not sure why it cost us more than the deposit, but whatever, fine. I don't know how this works. They, they did the buyout option, so that's good. And we also sold both of the Moonsteel Broadswords. 18 gold there. And 18 gold there. Looks like it was by the same person. Well, if they want them, that's their problem. We have 80 gold now. Not sure how to respond to that. I guess my response to that is, let's go see if we can buy more stuff to make more these insanely expensive swords. Because apparently it works. I'm, I'm not going to complain about it. What are they looking like today? Moon, moon steel. I should get my sheep back out. Seventeen today. Seventeen, eighteen. Okay. Do we just make more of these? There's a lot. There's more here today than there was last time. But somebody bought both of them for some reason. So. Well, we can try. We've already made so much profit. This whole system. I guess it all comes down to if we can find ourselves any of those lesser moonstones. All right. If there's none of these available, there's none of these available. There's enough. We're, we can make one. I suppose. I mean, it's been so incredibly profitable. It'd be silly not to. We'll buy out you. These are slightly cheaper than they were the other time, too. And there's no reason to grab ourselves the fourth one, since that's not helpful right now. Iron bars. Four. Four. He's 10 here. 10 for 80? That's a good, that's a good price for that one. I'm gonna go with that one. It's slightly over the amount we need, but. Two iron bars for a pretty cheap price. Not gonna complain. All right, we need the heavy leather. Do we have some? We might have some. I'm going to go check the bank first before we go here making all these purchases. It keeps saying that I won an auction. Yes, because I took the full cost bid. That's how it works. We can put two more of these iron bars in the bank. You got my attention. Okay. That's not the right button. Here we go again. Doing this. We need six heavy stone. That needs to be processed. We got the moonstones. We will buy the coal, buy the flux. Yeah, we still need the heavy leather. Very good. All right, let's see what the heavy leather is looking like today. If any luck, we'll be able to buy just the three we need, but 
Great, at the rate things are going, it might not be a bad idea to stock up. Moonstones, still the problem. Heavy, leather. Three heavy leather for 25. That's a good price for that too. We're getting good deals on everything. I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain about why somebody purchased both of my silly expensive swords. They did it. That's okay by me. I'll take that heavy leather. What's going on over here? I'm gonna go make my silly sword and we'll check that out, I suppose. Alright. Really did not expect any of these things to sell. Not complaining about it. Just pretty surprised. It does it, it doesn't feel like it should be that easy to double your gold. But of course that's me doubling my gold. That that's not representative of the whole system here. Smelt, steel, smelt it all. It's the extra steps that make this whole thing worthwhile. Or something. Okay. And then we come over here. Open up the uh, blacksmithing. Make the heavy grinding stones. And then scroll up here while we're doing that. Moon steel broadsword. We're just over here. Getting blacksmithing levels. Making tons of cash. I'm, I'm just gonna call this what it is. Winning. We don't have a monopoly on this, but when it works, it works, I guess. 185. I'm able to purchase a new blacksmithing something or others. Gold scale bracers. Golden scale, just that's just made of gold. Solid grinding stones, solid sharpening stones, solid weight stones, steel breastplate. All right, we will. Nine, nine silver. Ha! That's nothing. That's nothing to me. We'll, we'll purchase golden bracer things. Your feet on the ground. Now, what would that entail? It's gonna be under armor, probably. Golden scale bracers, steel and heavy grinding stones. I would call those steel bracers, but okay. I, I can claim they're made of gold when they're obviously not. That's fine. Decent. All right. Another super fancy sword. Head into auction. What a shiny guy. Alright. Moon steel. So the current sales are 16, 17, 17, 18. I'll offer you up. Fifteen, seventeen. 
Looks good to me. Now surely that one won't sell. What do we got going on over here? Argent Dawn. Light be with you. The time has come for the Horde and Alliance to look towards the north and the invasion of the Scourge. In recent days, territories across Kalindor and the Eastern Kingdoms have, have come under attack. We take up arms to save your land from destruction at their hands. What's happening? What's going on? The tides of war have come again. From the cold north, the Lich King's necropolises have laid siege to our lands. He is cursed general Kel the Zad. Send flying necropolises to invade across the world. What? <laughs> what can I do? I can do nothing. Scourge are establishing small staging points in the places under attack. Receiving communications and other assistance from the necropolis that fly overhead. From what we can tell, the only way to root them out is by killing the ground forces around the points. Where are we battling the Scourge? Brought only small forces to bear against each of Azeroth's capital cities. The main forces periodically attack the following lands. Astra, the Blast Lands, the Burning Steps, Narst Desert, Eastern Plains, and Winter Spring. Astron, under attack? Area is free of Scourge, it will only be a matter of time before we return. Or else we'll be battling Scourge. Last land's fine. Marking step is free. It's free. It seems the Army of Scourge has come to Tenaris. It's a new number of their necropolises. And other forces have been dispatched there. Number of necropolises remaining one. How many battles have we won? Ten. It's far from over. Light okay. Whatever that means. What whatever's going on, I'm sure I can't help. So we are going to go do something else entirely. Instead of dealing with whatever nonsense is currently happening, we are going to go get some uh, high perch venom sacks. High perch in thousand needles. Okay. So check out the map here. Zoom out a whole bunch. Here's thousand needles. Here's high perch. So, a really good way to get there would be go to the lower wilds. So we just need to. You feel it? Apollo's land is a precursor. So your precious holdings will be in our grass, and you'll. All for the might of the scourge. Okay. That sounds great. Good times. So we just need to get over to the other side of the world. And we can take the flight path. And it will pretty much be right where we need to be. Make this nice and quick. As long as this scourge doesn't attack us on the way over there. That, that would be problematic. I'm, I'm just going to continue with my things I'm doing and if giant flying whatever's show up I'll try to record it before they murder me <laughs> to high perch away in Salinar not much of a city barely even an outpost there's like Five people here. That's good enough, though. We just hop back into Thousand Needles. There's a copper vein nearby. Do I even care about that anymore? I suppose. Copper ore. Very good. Seems to be, this is a lower level area. So we're going to be going with the super strength 
based items. No, not that ring. The other one. This one's actually got all the different stats on it. Which one do I want to have on? I guess that's the next question. Let's, let's take off all the rings and look at them better. This one's 6 strength. This one's 3 st strength, 7 stamina. This one's 3 strength, 4 stamina, 3 agility, 4 intellect, 3 spirit. This has a lot more stuff going on. So we're going to... Even though it has less total in the strength and stamina department, makes up for it with all the other stuff, which is just good times. Is a ring a trinket? Nope, just goes right there. I guess it just automatically switches the top ring. Good to know. And we got our leather armor here. It's got extra strength. All right. Let's make our way down to the place that we're going to. High perch. If I recall from earlier, they had some decent ores up in High Perch. So I might be able to grab some of that while we're there. I think they had like mithril or something. What's up with all these guys? Can y'all just shoot? Steel snap. And it's two friends. I kind of on the pounder. He's an elite guy. Now that's interesting. You don't typically see elites running around too often. I think we can take him. Could be a fun little. Special guy with some kind of special drop or something. Come on down. Oh no, we've switched to our only strength equipment. He's made of rocks. There's no way he'd have a bleeding ability. He's a pounder. Not too excited about being pounded. He should have tried harder. Alright, let's see what he drops. It's a rock! <laughs> that was disappointing. We got lifeless stone and a rock chip. That's not great. I'm going I'm just gonna say that that's probably not great. Hi, Perch. Here we go. All right. Let's see if we can find anything of value up here. I'm out of range. Yeah, they're up twenty nine. That, that's that's not too impressive at this point. And we flipped all around. Okay. Hey, Venom Sack. That's that thing we were looking for. Not seen any ores. A bit unfortunate. Maybe you are here for my quest. 
torn up ear. These guys really do not pose much of a threat. Look at him gliding around. Stab it. There's another sack. Hey, there's a gold vein. That's something. Not exactly what we're looking for, but I'll take it. Really can't expect too much when these guys are such low level. Increased our mining at least. I guess it's, I guess gold's still pretty good. I'll put it right here next to my copper. It's only slightly more shiny. You would think it would be more shiny. You'd be wrong. Not enough. <laughs> well, this is exceedingly easy. That's okay. You thought I was going that way, but I went this way. It was all a cheap trick. I'm going to kill all these wyverns before we get mithril deposit. That's more like I'm talking about. Again, I probably didn't earn a mithril deposit, just from how easy all this is, but I'm not going to complain about it. More mithril is good for me. Already halfway done with this. Mithril ore. Now that's a shiny ore. Super shiny. We're, we're not getting any rocks up here, I guess. That's fine. Whatever. There's an iron deposit. Oh. Okay, we, it's up this way. Okay, gonna go this way and go get this iron deposit. Completely worth it. 100%. 100%. Oh, that, that's a bold strategy, my friend. See, they did the poison thing. That's why we're here for the poison things. And all these ores. The ores are also good. Okay. Ores. Ores. One of these days, I'm just going to just just die from fall damage, and it's going to be completely my fault. Don't 
Didn't even bother getting to full health. Don't need to. You're so easy. Seven out of ten. Too far away. They should probably fly higher. That'll probably help them quite a bit here. Get them away from dwarves. I mean, they're guarding ore. They have to be prepared for dwarven invasions. with a snack. Let's have some cod. It's a patriarch. How about you have a good you have a good venom -y, venom thing? Just an eyeball. Too far away. Another eyeball. I'm out of range. <laughs> Just need one more. And we're good. Fantastic. Well, that was incredibly successful. We got that. We got the things we were looking for. Nice big old pile of ores and such. Very good. All right. I think the next thing we want to do is make our way back over to Razor Fen Crawl. After we mine this iron deposit. Ah! After we fall off this cliff. I'm going to a dungeon falls off a cliff. Where iron deposit? There really is a wide variety of ores in this area. We got everything from copper to mithril. Not that I'm complaining. some copper. I suppose one negative of going straight to the dungeon now is we're really we spent quite a bit of inventory space on things but that's okay. How do we get from there to here? We want to head towards the Great Rift. Great Lift. Not a rift, actually a lift. 
this whole chasm thing that we're in is more of a rift. Oh, I'm, that's, that's probably not the right way to go. Yeah. He's just going. Run around. Run around. Crazy guy. That's freaking fast over there. Little outpost. Okay. But we're not going to be taking on this dungeon alone. I'm going to be trying to find some extra people. Even if it's only one other person, it should be probably enough, but if more people want to sh come along, that's, they're free to do so. We uh, vastly out-level the dungeon, so if a few more level-appropriate people want to tag along, It'd be beneficial for them, too. The Great Lift and the Barons. And then this one's all just knocked over. Great lift it is. Dark Cloud Pinnacle. Interesting area. Not too much going on. That's okay. comes. Surprise! It's me. Stop you doing your job, just shoo. <laughs> level twenty nine to thirty eight. No, I'm level I'm level forty. That's about right. I'm surprised it goes that high. That's okay. Alright. So we're going to Hang out here. Probably do the whole looking for group thing. Potentially have to try it a few different times, but that's the idea at any rate. We're heading back in, potentially for the last time. That's the plan. We're looking for a pendant and a medallion. And then potentially some other quests that other people might share. Those are the ones that I have, so. We will give that another shot. Hopefully next time. Goodbye. Uh -huh.